So I just went through my collage paper drawers to find interesting bits. One thing I'm looking for that I really like are these pieces with, with bits cut out in shapes. There, that's got some cut shapes. I want a variety of um, solids, patterns, and larger marks, just a larger scale. In addition to my collage paper drawers, I went and cut some text out of a couple of magazines. There's a bit of a phone book, remember them? So we'll start with that. Here's a few more items I just found. The cool thing about these shapes cut out is you can start to get some really interesting layering going on. So here's a shape cut out, and then we've got that. And then if I do that, then I get that shape. Not that shape, but I could do this shape here that shape there. And I can cut these up and just use little parts of that. So I'm not, I'm not trying to compose here. I'm just tossing these papers about to demonstrate how these cutout shapes that aren't just square edges, like, like that's pretty much square edges. They create little sub shape areas in the bits below. One way to start this lamination process is to put one paper on another. So with lightweight papers, I'm gonna use matte medium, which is in here. Lately, I've tried using a combination of this color shaper and a rubber squeegee so that brushes are not involved. I'm gonna pour out the matte medium, spread it around. I'm still pretty careful to make sure it's spread adequately. doing that. I think that was it. So one thing is to notice what you get. I get this visual content. I get that very light gray, this black, it runs into this black. I get that black against that white and so forth. So here's where I could bring in a squeegee. And that should get all out all the air pockets. At this point, it's fairly arbitrary because none of this will show. Still, I'm noticing the stuff going on. Another way to add a piece in this lamination process is underneath. So I'm gonna take this blue. I'm gonna put it under here. Maybe I'll let it stick out over there a little bit. I'm gonna take a pencil and just lightly draw the area that's gonna to need to have adhesive on it. And I'm gonna get some matte medium on the paper beneath me on the surface here, and then things are gonna stick and I don't care. There. Now, if you've got any water soluble crayon or graphite or water soluble colored pencils, on any of these surfaces that are not fixed with matte medium, they're gonna smear here. So it's a good, good idea if you're concerned about that, if you don't know, just try it. Take a little matte medium, put it over there. If it smears, then cover the whole thing in matte medium, let it dry, and then do this process. So what happens if I do, I could do that, I could do that, and then I have the opportunity for something else here. I'm gonna do this. There, I'm gonna leave a little at that bottom edge. It's gonna give me some visual possibilities. So it's like practice, practice composition. Every time I put a piece down, I get to notice what's going on. And here I'm just showing you some of the rest of the process using this same approach and same technique. So I've put a lot of things, kind of glued them a lot from the back and I've done a few things from the front, but let me show you one other thing. 
I'm gonna turn it over and do some reinforcement from the back. I'm putting a little wax paper under there so it sticks less to my table. All right, so I can see that this corner here is just one flimsy bit. So I'm gonna take some paper, pour out some matte medium and spread it around and collage this paper down just as if it was a visual part of the piece, but this is just structural reinforcement. And I'll just do that wherever the piece seems to be a bit flimsy. And then uh, I turn it around and keep going on it. 